What you're about to see is my July update for my 2016 BA Crack Key Non-Circulating Hydroponic Garden. It is all based upon the model that non-circulating hydroponics can be used to fill a container with all the nutrient and food that a plant would need over the course of its lifetime. The peppers you're about to see were started in December of 2015. This Ahi Fantasy Pepper is absolutely loaded with pods. The white peach pepper that is to the right is already getting close to five feet in height. The sugar rush pepper is also pushing in terms of both height and width. The smallest pepper that I have currently in this greenhouse would be the ahi pineapple pepper. and it is already over two feet in height. Each of these 27 gallon totes has a single plant dedicated to it. I also grow herbs such as peppermint, basil, stevia in smaller 18 gallon totes. This baby Persian cucumber is also doing well in the 27 gallon tote. This is a chocolate scotch bonnet, which is over four feet in diameter. That is bigger than my kitchen table. And beside it, a peach scotch bonnet, which is over 36 inches in height. If we were to look inside the tote, you would see the 3.75 inch net pot protruding through the lid. The level of nutrient was originally up to the edge of the tote and as the plant has grown it continues to use nutrient until such a time that the plant has matured and produced pods or the nutrient has been used up. By overestimating slightly I will have enough food for the entire season. On a smaller scale, these 18-gallon red totes are based on the same principle. The first four that you'll see are peppers from Lowe's Nursery. They're part of a Bonnie's Best plant selection that came in peat pots. I peeled the peat off the outside and dropped the soil and roots into a net pot. This is a Cubanelle. Beside it is a Havasu, there's a Thai Dragon, and a Habanaro. The Habanaro was the smallest of all four plants, but is beginning to pot up and get much larger than the others. On the back row is a smaller peach sugar rush, Uruguay seasoning, Marupi Amarela, and Colossal Bell. This method not only grows peppers, but can be used in pepper recovery. This is a sweet apple pepper that underwent transplant shock. So with the branches removed and the gentle nutrient solution bathing the roots, the leaf points are beginning to bud out. Soon this will fill out with branches and leaves and you'll never notice that it was ever pruned back. Questions on this method can be found at the University of Hawaii's website under the research of Professor B.A. Cracky.